Falcon Zero here and thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we have a video on what would you want to see on a new Star Fox game for the Nintendo Switch. With that underway, let's see if I can entertain you guys for a couple minutes here. First, it's hard to say what direction the series would go in from the original Star Fox and Star Fox 64 being on-rail shooters, but then changing the directions with Star Fox Adventures Dinosaur Planet giving it a more exploration Zelda type feel, and then Star Fox Assault following after that with a mix kinda between the two, it's really hard to say what direction this series would really go in. Then you also have Star Fox Command on the DS, which also gave back to the series of the original Flight game, and the re-release of Star Fox 64 on the 3DS as well, giving back to the traditional roots. But then the series lay dormant for quite some time, without a title appearing at all on the Nintendo Wii's life cycle, and then not appearing at all until the end of the Wii U's life cycle with Star Fox Zero. And this game was not a prequel or a sequel, but a revision of the main Star Fox story. Now, this version did bring back the R-Wing and the on-rail shooter, but it had mixed reviews with the motion controls in this game because of that, as you had to use them and you would be forced to be looking back and forth between the gamepad and the television. And this was the worst selling game of the series, but I do believe this was not given a fair chance as it was on a failing system and on the last life of it as well. Now, where I think this series should go is keep Fox and his team in the R-Wings and give them certain objectives to complete. Maybe some elements from Star Wars Rogue Squadron 1 and 2 if you guys have played those games where you are not necessarily on an on-rail shooter but you're flying around with objectives to complete instead and you have different planets that you can carry out these objectives that you will have to complete. I do feel this is what the series needs is a kind of revamp though and give it a new fresh feel on what Star Fox is really all about. Star Fox was great when it was an on-rail shooter but now it's time to update it I feel like it is a little bit and give it objectives and then maybe have Falco and Peppy and Slippy you can give them orders and have them carry out things and it'd be more fun that way instead of the on-rail shooter where it's just take care of the guy behind me Fox and then you have to just save him and then maybe you have to actually go somewhere to save him this time when they say that. And also just stay away from the foot mission. Star Fox is meant to be a flying game in my opinion and you should stick to that. Not that I think Star Fox Adventures and Assault was bad, but I would just like to see Fox again in the ship, not an on-rail shooter, and then maybe have some online and co-op play as well. Maybe you can do co-op and you can choose if you want to be Falco and Slippy or Peppy and then you could do it online too maybe. I think that would be a great addition to the game. Let me know what directions you guys think the series should go in. And do you agree with this or do you think this series is just dead altogether? Also, I want to say thank you for all the subscribers for sticking with this channel and your support. I will also be giving away an SNES Classic for this, so stay tuned for my next video as I'll have an update for that as well. And if you like this, please smash that like button there for me and consider subscribing. And as always everyone on YouTube, show me your moves.